Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here, and welcome back to Starbound episode 30. When we left off, we uh, got everything ready to fight the Bone Dragon. So, that is what we are going to do. Um, I want to make sure I got some stuff in order here. Let's see. Got a, is that a yellow stim pack? Nah. Oh no, that's a green one. There is a yellow one. Red? Do I have red ones? Before I had one or two. ah, there we go. I have a, I have plenty. Those there. The blue ones there. So I'm gonna need some stim packs for this fight. Um. Also, we got a new tech. Forgot about that. Tech. Got the gravity bubble. Oh, sweet. This is a good tech. We're definitely gonna switch to that one over the pulse jump because. Yeah, it lets us kind of floaty float around. Not the best tech, but not the worst. Okay, let's go. So, we're going to use our technology to fight. What? You want some of this? You want some of this? Come on. Come on, birdie. Hey, I'm talking to you. Get over here. Oh, you're dead, dude. You're dead. Oh, you're dead. Sweet. Alright, there's that. Um, we have some more. Why not do one more each side? This ought to get the Bone Dragon pretty quickly, I'm hoping. Okay, now. Decoy Princess. Let's move our window over there. Let's put the Decoy Princess right there. And let's have some stim packs. I'm actually going to switch this for that. That. So I don't think I want to use too many defense turrets just for difficulty's sake. And let's do this. All right, Bone Dragon. Whoa, that's not good. Don't you be, don't you be catching me on fire there, dude. <gasps> that would kill me, by the way. That would totally kill me in like one shot. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay, let's heal. Let's heal. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay, uh, beat him. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the defense turrets are for. Um, there's no way I could beat him with a regular bow. One of those mechanics that just needs to be a little better optimized for stuff. I need stronger ranged weapons as far as bows go. Um, okay, and what do we get? We got Dragon Bone, and we also got a Codex. Codex. Codec, Codex. There it is. We'll read that real quick. Okay, let's let's learn about the Bone Dragon. Bone Dragon boss. Dragons aren't real. That's the story told across all species, even the Florins. The hunters of great prey dismiss the idea of Bone Dragons as mere folly. Possibly because if they encounter one, they're too busy killing it to notice what it is. Um, next page. But dragons were real once. At least if that if this reanimated bone dragon is to be believed, lay down the right bait and the creature swoops in from the skies, scorching all in its path. Mindless, murderous, and completely lacking in flesh, it's a sight to behold. Where does it come from? Nobody knows. Even Greenfinger of the Florin is stumped. Perhaps it is the work of those strange winged demons sighted out sighted on distant planets, or maybe the unusual agarins, the mushroom people who till the earth. Or perhaps it is the work of those mysterious hooded figures adventurers have spoken of, those, cur those cultists who claim to possess a dark necromantic magic and whose hidden master has yet to play their hand. Fun bone dragon fact, the only person to successfully tame a bone dragon is Haraki Coral, Cor Coral, Coral? 
<laughs> who grew bored and released the creature minutes later. When asked, she claimed she had forgotten how she befriended the beast, and that's the last page. So, there's the bone dragon. And we got the dragon bone, or claw, or whatever it is. Um, which is pretty sweet. Cool. Um, let's beam back to the ship. We're just going to leave the turrets. They're only one pixel apiece. Which is another... That's a pretty broken price, if you ask me. Okay. Um, dragon bone. That's what it is. The heat never dies. Okay. Now, um, with that, we can make the, what, star map mark four, I believe? Yes. Okay. And we need some pixels for that. Um. <laughs> Friend says, uh, already doing Starbound videos today. Great job. Gotta go to sleep. She's from Japan, so. Yeah, it's nighty night time there. Sayonara Muli-san. That would be me. Muli-san. Okay. Um. Or platinum in there, which we will need again, but it'll, it'll be later. We will be in the drill stage then. Okay, um, what did it say I needed? 2,000 pixels? Um, what else can I throw in there? Silver! I got plenty of silver. We can do that. We can definitely do that. I need to scoot my chair in. Hold on. <coughs> Not the squeakiest damn chair in the world. Okay, that's good. And right here, star map, upgrade four, craft it, and we will use that. Boom. Star map updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation systems. Select sector delta from the top of the navigator in a ga in galaxy view to advance. Okay. I'll do that. Um, need some fuel. A little bit more. That ought to do it. Fuel. Boom. Okay. Delta sector. Right here. And let's see. What planet should we go to? Let's go to... Um... Hmm... We have enough fuel to go to any star in the Delta Sector. Delta area. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Looking for one with a kind of a cool name. Delta Celestial. That looks cool. Desert. Forest. Asteroid field. Forest. Um third planet snow tentacles volcanic jungle tentacles for sure we're gonna go there of course all right and in the meantime let's play a song um let's go with this one we'll go here yeah so on our way to the Delta sector gonna be sweet. Can't wait. Um, yeah. Almost to Sector X. That's, that's the sector you want to be in for good tech, good weaponry, um, great armor, which, speaking of which, we can make new armor. Um, Pond Puddle. We have river. Next would be... Um... It's not showing up there. I think we need to make some Dura Steel first. Oh, I gotcha. It's right up here. Let's go defense. Lake. Lake set. Okay, so... Let's jump down here and check it out. Weapons out. Ready. Boom. Tentacle world. Ok. 
Okay, so we're gonna find titanium on this planet. Um, probably in pretty good amounts. You guys are nice, right? Of course not. You're, you're birds. Birds are never nice. Okay. So tentacle worlds are, uh, very interesting, okay? Just telling you now. Oh! And things really hurt here. Yeah. Let's heal. There's some titanium. Okay, you guys. Excuse the stim pack. Okay, you guys are, um, mad. Mad for some reason. Okay, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Let me get my titanium. You guys stay there. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm your tits, guys. I'm just here for your titanium to get some weapons. Then I will murder you, okay? Sound like a fair deal? Okay. There we are. That's probably enough for something, but... Are you a murderer? No. You guys are cool. Okay. I can live with that. You guys look alright. You look like, uh, decent guys. Oh, dude. Jump up here. Jump up here. Thank you. Ready? Okay, there's that. Now. Oh, this is silver. It's not even like good or bad guys. Birds. They're never nice. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, don't bubble me to death, you turd. <laughs> oh, friggin' turds. Dang it. That's alright. We'll go back down. Ah, coffee. Mmm. Mm-mm. Alright. Let's leave the pixels in there for a few. Um, let's cook up some of this titanium. Ooh, we got lots too. This is good. That's a good head start for us. Um I don't know I don't remember how much you need to get the armors, but how does this look on us? Oh, let's take a look here real quick. How do we look there? Does that look cool? Um, I can live with that. That's not bad. Really like the, uh, not the pond, the puddle set. That looked really sweet. Okay, make sure we switch that back just in case. I like this set too. You know? Oh, that is the pond. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's the one. Okay. Um, what am I doing? We're going to come up here. So now we use the robotic crafting table for all of our durasteel. Need to make durasteel, which is titanium and coal put together. Dura. Dura. And you can make all of the fancy little... Oh, that's a sweet chair. You should remember that. Anyway, um, okay. Actually, anything I can make with titanium, um, let's look up survival. No, not on this one. It's on the robotic crafting table survival system. Um, that requires durasteel too, so, okay. So, I guess we gotta make some durasteel. Dura. Dura last, Dura last. Okay, we'll just make as much as we can, I guess. 90, 99, which is actually 34. And then we'll come up here, and we will go there. And that looks kind of weird. Not really. Eh, that's it. It's not my favorite. 35 for that. Um, gosh, which means I need some more coal. Should just 
throw the wood in there. Let's throw it in there again. Like that. I just need one piece of coal to make one dura steel bar. Dura bar. Boom. Boom. Jump up here. Make a breastplate. Or should I make weapons? Mmm, weapons, weapons. I need new swords. Um, let's see. Gill cutter. That's two-handed. Scythe? Sweet! Um, two-handed. First mate. Cabin boy would be the one. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make two of those. I'd rather have good weaponry. Cabin boy, you can come up here. Um, goodbye, kitfish. You were good to us. Cabin boy, you can go up here. This poisonous thing, you were good to us. Goodbye, other kitfish. So much junk. So much junk. Um, gosh, I don't even know what to do with it all right now. Let's just worry about getting this coal, and we'll make some more dura steel if we can. Which I believe we can. Dura steel again. This one. Hey, all my titanium and all of my coal. Perfect. So now we can't go nowhere. Um, that, and I can make a breastplate still. Sweet. That's a good thing because that is the best defense. Okay, that'll go there. Um, we'll save the armor. You never know when you want some vanity. That'll go there. Brains, go away. Go away, brains. Cool. Um, how does that look on me? That looks really decent. Kind of. A little bit. That looks sweet. We'll, we'll wait on it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to call an episode there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!